Well, the government intervened and saved the big banks in return that they would tighten their regulations and won't randomly give mortgages unless they have high enough credit scores and are able to make the monthly payments. For some time, they did. If in 2010 you would try to get a mortgage, the banks would require you endless numbers of documents to prove that you are financially responsible and you have a stable job that will allow you to make mortgage payments on time. So home prices returned back to their pre-crisis levels by 2012. The only reason that the market would crash again is if house prices will start rising dramatically again and there won't be a demand to meet it. In the last 8 years, home prices did actually rise, but mortgages were no longer given to irresponsible borrowers. In fact, in 2016, the Fed stepped in and raised interest rates from 0.25% to 0.5% so that it won't turn into a bubble. By 2019, interest rates were at 2.5%. Borrowing money became expensive, although the number of mortgages dropped to a certain extent, but the demand was still there, so prices kept rising. When the pandemic stopped the economy, it was clear that the housing market is going to crash because overnight millions of people lost their jobs, which means they won't be able to continue making their mortgage payments and default on their mortgages, which means suddenly there are going to be too many houses in the market as it was back in 2008. So home prices will start falling, which means the housing market will crash. But what we didn't take into account is that the Fed just recently went through a housing crash, so it knew how to stop it. First of all, the government distributed stimulus checks to help everyone to pay the bills. The government granted financial aid to businesses who retained their employees so most people could keep paying the bills, including their mortgage. And to seal the case, the government introduced a forbearance plan, which means basically you can put your mortgage payments on hold until 2021. And that means that no one is going to default on their loan this year. And by next year, a vaccine is hopefully will be available and everyone will get back to work and keep making their monthly mortgage payments. 